outage of communication has done more harm, you know, to our people than good. There is just nothing good about it. The people that are supposed Senator, to... Senator, why would you say that? No, I'm saying... I'm, I'm because, going to give you reasons. Because going, the I'm governor has said that, I, it, well, that there's, is, a, there's, a, there's a slowdown in, that in the is, activities of the bandits. Well, that is the governor. And I don't know where he draws his information from. For the security agency? I am telling you, I am telling you as an indigenous and a citizen of Danfara State. And I want you to use your head also. Now, what are all these things about? <clears throat> this uh, break uh, in communication. Now, the people, I think even day before yesterday I saw, you know, they said the Danfara State governor sent a delegation to one of the key bandits that uh, controls a very large area, you know, to uh, ask him to embrace, uh, what do you call it, uh, Amnesty. Uh, uh, yes, well, amnesty or uh, negotiation, whatever. And he told them that he, is, he, he doesn't give a hoot about the breakdown of the communication because he uses Sraya. And that is the truth of the matter. They use Sraya all over the place. Now, so what is the breakdown of uh, the communication all about? It is all about suppressing the people not to <laughs> say they are, uh, uh, maybe to, 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 to come to the aid of themselves. Because when there was communication at least, if there is going to be an attack in a, a village or there is an attack, you know, the people from the village can call for help from all over the place. Now nothing. And these things continue day in, day out, every day. And I think the Minister of Communication needs to fear God on, on this issue. Because to us, there is like a connivance with him, you know, to just day before yesterday, how many police, uh, poor seven mobile police officers were killed, you know, just day, about three days ago. And we saw their corpses. And everything, and what happened? Because they were ambushed, and they don't have communication gadgets, they don't have anything. Now, the people they were supposed to uh, be attacking, you know, have uh, a way of communicating with themselves. But our security agencies don't have communicating, uh, uh, communication gadgets. Then go to the, uh, the, the, the uh, what do you call it, the measures imposed by the government. Uh, closure of markets, uh, closure of, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, no selling of petroleum products and so on and so forth. Now, <clears throat> these people go on kidnap uh, uh, this thing. So when they kidnap a person, you know, out of the things they will list, they will tell you to bring five jerkins of petroleum product, bring food, bring this, bring... So they don't need to go to market to feed. So for God's sake, this thing is affecting our people and unless something... If you go back to my submissions on the floor of the Senate, there was this time that I said the bandits are taking over administration of uh, distance. Today it is coming out very, very glaringly in Sokoto. But what would you rather uh, have the governor, the security agencies do? People have criticized that they're not doing enough. They made the decision, they came together, the security agencies advised, and they took a decision. Well, what I would just advise them, I, would, I don't want to go into what uh, doesn't uh, concern me. Now, it is their responsibility, you know, God is going to ask them how they <coughs> uh, uh, manage these people that God gave them to manage. So, but all I would say is they should discharge their responsibilities with atmosphere of God because God is going to judge everybody.